What's up, people? If you haven't read The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene, you could just read the titles of the chapters and apply it to real life. I don't care if you're a street guy, work at McDonald's, or even a lawyer. This can apply to everyone. Today, I'm relating it to the underworld and how following these 48 laws will bring success, whether you're a boss or a foot soldier. I know my subscribers pretty well, and you guys are pretty smart, and we think alike also. So I know y'all gonna like this. So if you haven't subscribed, it only take two seconds to click the button. If not, let's just get into the video anyway. Law number one, never outshine the master. This is a very important rule when you're coming up, when you're coming up under the boss. You don't wanna seem to be any type of threat. Do not appear to be smarter than a boss. You must feed his ego. The last thing you wanna do is have your superior unsure about you. You will never get promoted or up the ranks. A bothered boss can do a lot of damage to your career. Law number two, never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use your enemies. People put too much trust in friends. For example, giving them the combo to the safe. Small will let Porterfield pick his son up from school and he ended up holding him for ransom. John Gotti took Sammy the bull word causing him to order hits that later he will find out will be lies. Keeping your enemies close. Carlo Gambino murders Albert Anastasia, then makes Albert Anastasia loyalist Neil De La Croce the underboss, and it worked out well for him. See how that works? Law number two, conceal your intentions. Learn how to shut up and not let anyone know your next move. The person you're telling could step on your toes or beat you to it. Preacher told Malik he had property down south and he had a business that became very paranoid that Malik knew too much. Yes, when things are going good, we all like to share it, but sometimes that could bite you in the ass. Law number four, always say less than necessary. Guys that talk too much is a sign of weakness. If you're going around telling your own business, what are you doing with mine? You don't want to be the guy that can't control his mouth. Now that was Anthony Ruggiero. That was his biggest downfall. He was caught on a wiretap, talking down on a boss and the people around him. His nickname was Crack Whack. But being caught talking down on a boss on a wiretap and your friends around you could put a major stain on your name. And that's one thing you don't want. Law number five. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Reputation plays a big role in the streets. That determines if you're gonna get your money back that you loan out or from a front. If your dope block or bando gonna run smooth without stick up kids, you enter jail with nothing but your reputation. So depending on your reputation, that would determine if you get an easy bid or not. Law number six, court attention at all costs. If you're a nobody, you get treated like a nobody. When you walk into a room, someone should hear about you. Someone should have heard about you. Whether it's from a shootout, lighting up the courts with fireworks like Alpo, passing out turkeys like Skinny Joey, you should be a somebody. Law number seven, get others to do the work for you, but always take credit. You're only as good as your last envelope. You're no good if you're not making the boss rich and adding to his empire. No matter how many connects you find or how many guys you get rid of, it only adds to the boss's reputation. Law number eight, make other people come to you. Use bait if necessary. Some guys like to throw their money around. You have Alpo Martinez. He was trying to get as much muscle he can, so he would do things like bail guys out, knowing that they would return to thank him. Law number nine, went through your actions Never do an argument. When it comes to expanding, a lot of guys will love to doubt you. You have to show them, and when it's too late, watch them come flocking. You can say what you want, but it's all about the results. Law number 10, avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. It's that one person that leeches on you, that leeches on the people, that just brings them down. John Apples Porter, Henry Hill, the guy that killed Nipsey Hussle, they will never be happy with themselves. 
You keep them around, your empire will come crashing down. Now you see where I'm coming from? You see how using these laws, you could become successful to your business, to your workplace, anywhere. Now, we're gonna stop at 10. We're gonna stop at this for now. Next video, we're gonna go through 11 through 20. And I hope you guys like it. If you do, you can like the video and tell me in the comments. If not, you can hit the thumbs down. The world is yours. But I'm out, people, and I appreciate the time. Stay safe.